The trial of Nigeria's Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki on alleged falsification of assets at the Code of Conduct Tribunal CCT has been adjourned till Wednesday, April 6th. During hearing today, the counsel to the Senate, Mr. Paul Osoro, had asked for an adjournment on the basis that an appeal had been entered before the appellate court. The defendant filed. The tribunal in its own wisdom decided uh, exactly what it should rule in regard to that application. We, you must have heard me apply for records of proceedings generally. Yes, it is when you look at the records of proceedings and you consult with your clients that you can decide whether there's anything you need to do about it. But we can't currently uh, comment on that particular ruling. Council, Mr. Rotimi Jacobs opposed the application. According to him, the CCT had adjourned the matter for trial to commence and he was ready with his witnesses. He said that the defense was aware that what they had filed could not stop the proceedings. He said that the request for an adjournment was not based on the motion served on the prosecution, but on an application of stay of proceedings pending before the Court of Appeal. Where we are, you see the obstacle that have been uh, uh, placed on our way. The, the obstacle is still there. Is every every time um, they come with other uh, with a uh, new method of uh, obstacle, and uh, all of us we saw what happened today, and we argued, used the, almost half of the day to argue whether to proceed or not to proceed. But eventually, I think um, uh, good reasoning prevail, and uh, we are proceeding. After the ruling, the tribunal proceeded with a hearing with one of the witnesses, Michael Rakpas, a detective superintendent with the Economic Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, giving a testimony of his involvement in the matter. He said the anti-graft agency had received several petitions shortly after the second tenure of the Senate president as governor of Choir State. According to him, the property on the farm were said to have been acquired from sales of sugar, but the EFCC discovered that it was bought from the loan he got from the bank, which was repaid from the cash lodgment earlier referred to and made at Elorian, the capital of Choir State. He also told the tribunal that another property was discovered in Abuja, which was purchased in 1991. The property was not declared in this asset. The witness said that the team allegedly discovered that while he was in office, he maintained an American Express service card account with the American Express Bank, New York. After taking his testimony, the tribunal adjourned its hearing until Wednesday, April the 6th. Meanwhile, Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki has said he is glad that his trial before the Code of Conduct Tribunal on Asset Declaration in 2003 has finally commenced. Saraki said the proceeding of today has given him confidence that if the trial is conducted fairly, he will be vindicated. The Senate President noted that even though the prosecution tried to bring in some dramatic narratives, it was clear that they were merely trashing around and hoping to titillate the public with celebrity tales. He added that he was hopeful, however, that when the time comes, his lawyers will have the opportunity to present his case.